What is going on, y'all? It is your girl, Touche B336 Tarot here. Hey, y'all. Trying something different today. Y'all have to ignore Shadow Child. He done found a fly, and there's a fly in here, and he's going crazy, right? He going crazy about the fly. I'm going crazy about the fly, because flies don't, they, they, I love everything that Spirit Neil <laughs> created, but Flies don't sit well in my spirituals, okay, y'all? Flies don't sit well in my spirituals. Sorry, but they don't. So I'm going to encourage him to find the fly, kill it. Whatever he want to do with it, I want him to do it, okay? So setting the intention with the sage to cleanse, remove, protect, and purify this space, our energies, and our org fields of any and all negativity, negative energy, low vibrational energy sent intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown, including ourselves, okay? So, welcome. It is Spirit Speaks Saturday. So, y'all, I'm trying something new. I'm actually, y'all know, I'm, I showed out and I had bought some new equipment and stuff. So, I'm, I'm, I'm showing out because I'm trying to actually record the video and then just upload it for you guys, okay? Versus going live on YouTube. Just try some things up. Do some things different. So, we are going to go ahead and get this thing together, get it going, get it rolling, and see what Spirit wants to speak to us about today on this beautiful Saturday morning. It has been a wonderful day. I'm so happy and so very grateful for today and these messages that I'm about to give you guys as I tap into the energies and connect with Spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, and angels so we can get a word. We got to get a word. All right, so Spirit... Very good. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. Y'all have to let me know in the comments below, please, if you watch the video, how the sound was. Um, I need the feedback, and I appreciate the feedback as well. Even where is to hold my cards, all that good stuff, y'all. I got to know all that. So please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, um, provide feedback. I appreciate it. It greatly helps. Uh, Shadow, baby, you got the... Sorry, y'all. I told y'all. Hopefully, he, he don't mess the video up. But we gonna go ahead and keep going, going, keep on going. He's gonna get them, and then this this fight will be over. Okay, this battle will be over. So here we go. Spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, and angels, speak to me truly. Speak to me clearly. What do I need to know on Spirit Speak Saturday? What messages do I have to deliver for the people today? For the people, Neil. <laughs> the people, Neil. Shadow, there go the fly. <laughs> Told y'all, child, he didn't drop my whole little jar. <laughs> y'all look into fly medicine. I, I'm going to look into see what the significance of flies are. And I'm so glad he didn't just break that little glass, but it's okay. It's, I'm going to get it. So, Spirit, what we got? We have the first card to come out. Number 25, which is living light energy. See the, wait, I hope y'all can see this. See the beauty in life. Y'all are about to let me know about the volume. Okay, so, oh my goodness. I, so, see living light energy, see the beauty in life. What spirit is saying to me in this card is like a shadow of your former self. It's like, first of all, they, they're also saying, wait, they want you to shine. If you can see on this card, and I hope it doesn't mess up the volume, y'all, but if you can see on this card, these are taking me like to tombstones. And I, I can't say if that's what they are or not, but even in the midst of those tombstones, this tree is still growing, flourishing, and shining very, very brightly, okay? Now, I just switched the card on purpose because I want y'all to tell me if you can still hear all right, so going deeper, going to the root of problems is what they just said. Finding the root of the problem is what is going to help you to live in your light is what I just got. Live in this light energy. Seeing the beauty within yourself, um, nourishing that beauty, encouraging that beauty within yourself. And not letting anyone else or anything else um, get in the way of that. 25, of course, breaks down to the number seven. So seven is about luck as well. Um, what else? 
knowledge is what they just said. They just said knowledge, knowing yourself, knowing your worth, standing in your power, letting go of the ghost of who you used to be and stepping into your who you are now and not no longer blaming yourself. This is this is this reminds me. I don't know if y'all ever even eat at this restaurant, but it's like this. Uh, I call it a blooming onion. And it's like pulling back the layers of yourself to discover the layers of yourself that still need to be healed is what I just got. Firm, so, forming solid foundations, strong roots for yourself, okay? Um, whereas maybe you didn't feel as stable and secure before, Spirit is coming through to say that it's time to release that, let that go, because you are letting go of these ghost-like versions of yourself, these past versions of yourself um, that no longer resonate with who you are anymore or the energy that you now currently have, okay? They're definitely wanting you to continue to work on your growth, um, stability, security, structure, foundations if you feel like there's a rocky foundation they're wanting you to work on that as well um especially within yourself uh oh wait a minute fear neil <laughs> hold on so they said take this one so the card that they wanted me to take for you guys is clarity okay they said just take the top one hold on let me <laughs> move my cat going all over the place clarity okay being very clear with yourself what it is that you know is right for you, best for you, and being very clear with your intentions, the goals you set for yourself, the things you want for yourself. I just heard showing yourself the way, showing yourself the way to cut off the dead leaves and the dead branches that may be associated with these past versions of yourself. You are being very clear. Hold on, Shadow. Wait, you can't go that way, baby. Being very clear with um, your intentions and the goals that you are setting for yourself. Showing up for yourself. Yeah, that's what I got so far on that. And we'll come back to it as we start to pull some tarot here. And... Spirit guides, ancestors, angels of the highest, purest light and vibration, spirit, please come through. What else, what other message do you have for the people today? Y'all, I really, really hope that this is working out and I'm and the volume is okay. Of course, I'll know when I watch the video, but um, I hope that it is so that I will know exactly what I need to do or not do to improve the video for you guys, okay, so you can receive the message. Very good. So living in our light energy, being very clear, um, setting boundaries, cutting off old attachments that no longer serve us, cutting them out at the <laughs> thank you, spirit. Come cutting them off at the root, <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on, spirit, Neil. Listen, I love when the card speak to me because I speak to them and they speak back. <laughs> Let's go. So the card that you had to come out last is spiritual abundance. Yes. I receive it, okay? Because this is card. This card says, "Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance." That is bringing me directly back to this number twenty-five card that says, "Living like energy." It's like healing yourself. And then this angel on here is white. The white on this card as well with this tree, being very firm in who you are and what you believe, what you know to be true about yourself. Healing, and it's like spirit just gonna come and start sprinkling the blessings. Like I literally have been getting this message in almost every reading that I have done, um, or several readings that I have done in the past couple, about the past week and a half. Spirit is saying, we want to bless you. We want you to have everything that you want, everything you think you want. I'm drawn to this lotus blossom. If y'all can see that, there's a lotus blossom that's in her hair. There are riches that are in the, this that are trying to come through to you guys and it's all about realizing the healing and being very clear about the healing that you need to do for yourself so that you can be abundantly and spiritually blessed in more than one way this is not just financial this is happiness coming in this is being very grounded 
um, knowing what you want, standing firm in what you want, setting intentions for what you want, and doing the work, W-E-R-K, <laughs> work, <laughs> so that you can get those things and have those things, okay? Spirit really wants that. They're trying to bring it to you. Like, they just trying, they're bringing it, child. I can't, I can't make it up. They bring in it. They want to bring this into your life and give it to you. They just want you to make sure that you're being very clear. Okay. Very good. Set some great intentions. Um, very clear intentions. May want to practice some scripting. Live in your life. They just said it again. Live in your life. Be your brightest, most authentic, shining, beautiful, graceful self. Okay, abundant self. That is what they want, and that is what they are assisting you with as well. So we are going to pull from the Spirit Journey Oracle and see what additional messages they have before we jump on into the tarot. Okay, very good, Spirit. Thank you so much. Come through and speak. What do we need to know? Very good. <laughs> The first card that you have to come out is guidance from spirit, okay? Spirit speaks Saturday. I can't make this up. Spirit is saying you are in a tough situation and spirit is ready to offer guidance if you just ask for ask, okay? You also have to show to show up open to receive. If you have to be willing and open to receive the gift that spirit is trying to bring into you again being very clear about that all right if you're not ready to receive it that is okay but they're trying to work with you to get you to a place that you can receive all of these blessings and abundance that they're trying to bring you into but it is definitely going to require some healing all right you, you they, they trying to guide you in the direction of the abundance like this came out after the spiritual abundance. So please receive any guidance, signs, synchronicities that maybe make you think you're a little crazy. You'd be like, nah, that can't be what it is. It really is, okay? They want you to trust in what you are feeling. They want you to trust in what you are seeing. If you're receiving, a, if you are seeing repeated numbers, um, they just said the number one more time. The number 16, which, of course, breaks down to another number seven, okay? Um, so we already had the 25 to come out. It's they, they, they're, they're giving you the knowledge and the wisdom. This is like the tree of life, okay? That's what I, what I just got, like tree of life. Ancestors, spirit guides, guidance from spirit, okay? They are, they are trying to put you into soul alignment. This, this, this is you. This is them securing what they're trying to, securing you, rooting you down into this, this, this existence, okay? They, they're trying to guide you in the correct direction. They are trying to shift your perspective, make you, they're trying to get you more open to receiving the spiritual abundance that they're trying to provide to you. They're trying to align your soul with its true purpose as well as its passion is what they just said. Um, the next card you had come out is practice unconditional love. They definitely want you to do that as well. Self-care, um, taking walks, meditating, do something nice for yourself. They also just said have fun, okay? Have some fun. Go out and do something that you like to do um, that actually does bring you passion. Um, I just heard reconnecting with your inner child. All right. They definitely want you to reconnect with your inner child if you have not been showing yourself no love. OK, they want you to show yourself some love. Um, they're going to bring situations and people into your life who are going to be more in alignment with you and your soul. OK, the, this is the end of my ancestor deck. So this is definitely like them saying we're going to bring them in. But you have to be open and ready to receive this abundance. And it may not look like what you expect it to look like, but it's still coming. You have to be willing to accept the things that they're sending you. Count the, count your blessings is what I just heard. Re be open to receiving the, 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 the blessings that they're already sending you. Be grateful for it. So they can send some more is what they just said, because they said you have a lot of abundance on the way that they're trying to direct and guide into your life. 
all right, on multiple levels, love, money, if you've been um, working on setting intentions around jobs and money, stability, security is what I'm also getting um, on this, this, this living, live, living life energy card. If you have been trying to manifest money, resources, health, support, they want you to know that you are supported. They are supporting you in spirit. And they are putting, it's like breadcrumbs. As they said, they putting like little pebbles, right? They just showed me like a path with like, uh, it's like step by step, step by step is what they're saying. It's a process, but it is the, it's a process of growth, okay, is what they just said. So we're going to see what comes out of the tarot for you guys. Spirit, speak to me. Come through spirit. What do you Tell the people now, <laughs> spirit now, and the person now, spirit guys, what y'all got for me? Continue to speak. Show me what I need to tell the people now, okay? Shadow and lay down for a second, y'all. So hopefully, we need it. Oh. He might have caught the fly. He might not have. Wait a minute, y'all. I did that. That was too many cards. So he told me to put them back. <laughs> Definitely told me to keep this one. Okay. What else, Spirit? Anything else? Sometimes this deck, it's my it's my new favorite, um, but I have to shuffle until they tell me not to shuffle because the messages come through as they are supposed to. All right, Spirit, <laughs> come through Spirit now, right? They said there's one more. Okay, now they said stop bottom of the deck you have the ten of swords in reverse so they're saying you are actually coming out of um this ten of swords energy stepping into a new cycle um of your i love it i love it already now <laughs> spirit now ancestors now um you're stepping into a new cycle of stability security remember we talked about that planting firm foundations and firm roots um, the first card to come out is the nine of wands, okay, which is all about perseverance, standing your ground. I just got wounded warrior on this, wounded warrior, healing things that are, things are coming to the surface for healing that, um, <laughs> I receive it, that you maybe didn't even know that you had to heal, okay? but you're standing strong you have healed those things you have been to war you have been to battle you have dealt with these situations and now spirit is saying it's time to move into the next step coming out of this come through with the word spirit up under so you're, you're coming out of this and up under this ten of swords you have the emperor remember i said forming strong foundations okay strong roots the number four is all about stability security your roots your foundations the things that support you the people who support you how you show up and support yourself okay they are definitely saying that yes they are working with you on standing in your power standing firm on your boundaries your beliefs what you know to be true for yourself being very clear about that and not letting anyone change your mind maybe at one point in time um you did not have firm boundaries in place maybe you lost your boundary somewhere along the way it happens to all of us okay trust and believe but you are on the other side of that you are coming out of that ten of swords energy right you're coming out of this you are now stepping into your personal power your strength okay with this emperor coming through i just saw i'm, I'm drawn to the aunt that's on this uh card as well you're standing and and then the other thing i like about this emperor card y'all is it actually represents not only the strength of your masculine energy but also the strength of your feminine energy because listen in the normal in the tarot the 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 emperor is the number four card but it incorporates the high priestess as well and a lot of times in tarot and different tarot decks that part is not shown as much um 
and it's not shown on like a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, but in this card, he's holding like it, it's like oh. orbs of light. He's holding them. He they ain't touching them, but that shows that he's connected with his internal power, listening to his inner self. And he's also in control of his outer self. Very strong, very powerful energy coming up for you guys. And I'm so happy and so grateful for y'all. All right. The next card to come out is the Three of Wands. So this is a lot of fire energy. Um, the Three of Wands is all about expansion, growth. You are being put on your path. Look if you can see this card. You are being put on your path to greatness. You are expanding. You are growing. You are bringing things into fruition with these intentions that you are setting. You are showing up for yourself. You are standing up for yourself. All of these things, shifting these paradigms, are what is bringing in this spiritual abundance, okay? <laughs> this is the true story coming through, y'all. The next card to come out, another card of firm and solid foundations, is the God of Pentacles. Firm, and, and, and him paired with the emperor. First of all, the emperor is all of the kings, like all of them. Plus, he has the, the, the empress and the high priestess, right? So this is you standing firm found, firm on your foundations, your boundaries, building strong roots, bringing things, cut and cutting off whatever don't serve. Like, no, we cutting that off. We're bringing order, structure, stability into our lives, taking care of our homes. If, if you need to take better care of your home, things that were meant to be broken down are now being broken down so that they can be re rebuilt and built on stronger foundations. You can't, look, it's going to fall. <laughs> if, if you try, if, if it ain't firm at the bottom, it, it's destined to fall, okay? And then the last card that you have to come out is the moon, which makes perfect sense because what Spirit is saying is you are the things that used to scare you, the things that used to, to, to make you feel inadequate, unworthy, undeserving, less than, any of those words that you want to interject in right there, you are coming out of that. You no longer self-sabotaging yourself. You no longer putting all these swords in your back or letting other people backstab you. You are standing in your power. You had to go through a period of healing and realizing exactly what was going on in those situations, those relationships, friendships, and even with yourself, because it really does start with self, okay? You're letting those things come to the surface. You're letting those things, um, you're bringing them up. You're healing them. Remember I said the wounded the, the wounded warrior. You're bringing those things to the surface. You're no longer scared of them. You're no longer fighting against them. You're going with the flow. Look at how the water on this card, it, it, it's like you're grounded as well. The, you're walking through, you're, you're walking towards whatever it was that was scaring you, that hurt you, that wounded you. You are at a point where you're like, oh, this ain't finna stop my hustle. <laughs> Why? Because I'm glowing and I'm growing and I'm going to continue to do so. So you're no longer scared to face and deal with these things that brought you the emotions we don't want to tap into, right? Hurt jealousy, anger, all the things that a lot of times we keep us from moving forward on our path. And now that you've taken the, 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 you've made the decision to go through this period of healing for yourself, spirit is going to bring in this spiritual abundance for you guys. Okay. It is coming. Continue to work on doing this healing boundaries, continue to set boundaries, firm boundaries, stand on your boundary, 10 toes down. Stand on them, okay? We got to stand on them boundaries. And that includes boundaries with ourselves because you you got to have boundaries with yourself. You have to set limits with yourself, but you have to stand on them. If you say you ain't going to do something, then don't do it. You have to be honest with yourself before you can call in somebody honest. You have to have boundaries with yourself and tell yourself no sometimes before you can tell, before you can set that boundary with somebody else and say, no, I, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. No, I don't feel like it. And it's a hard, <laughs> I'll do, I, I, don't, I hadn't always done well with boundaries, you guys. I can be honest and say that, okay? I have not always done well with boundaries, but truly grateful that yes, now I have them up and in place. Even, <laughs> child, they'd be so, I'd be like, you want to, no, 
no. <laughs> okay, so I'm just saying, y'all, put your boundaries up. Um, keep them there. Continue to work on them. And people are going to test your boundaries and just let them know you ain't the one to play with. Like, <laughs> no, these boundaries strong over here, child. We, we, we not, you're not going to be able to do nothing with them. Like that. <laughs> so you can go on, not nah, go on. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Like, no, I don't care what you say, right? We, I'm standing up for me. I stand for me. I stand for me. Very good. And to close the reading out, I'm going to give you guys a wisdom of the oracle. All right. So, Spirit Nim, Ancestors Nim, come through, show up, show out. What do I need to tell my people now? What do we need to know, Spirit, come through? I hope that y'all are having a fantastic day. If I hadn't already said that, I'm so I'm truly sorry. Y'all know it. I it I'd be gone way up there sometimes when I get in these cars. But I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Truly, truly, truly fantastic. And if not, now's the perfect time to start. Let if your if your day started out kind of rocky, now's the time to flip it into exactly the kind of day you want it to be. Okay, we are gonna do that. That's what we here for. We here for to give you a little guy. Very good. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> so the card that you got was come to the edge. Okay, this is the number 36 card, which of course breaks down to nine. All right, but I'm going to read this out the book because y'all know me. I ain't going to tell you what. I don't know. And no, I don't have this memorized. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I can, ran, I can channel some messages, child, but I... <laughs> Who Not me, okay? Anywho, <laughs> we're moving right along. Let me read y'all this card. This card, where'd it go? Where'd I put it at, y'all? Oh, I hope y'all can still hear this as I'm reading. Come to the edge. This card says, taking courage, taking a leap of faith, overcome, uh, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have to is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of your fear. Letting go of the fears, right? You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. It was a whole fly. Did I talk to y'all about fly medicine? Anyway, I'm back. My bad. <laughs> Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. <laughs> Listen, I, I told you, I think I was talking to y'all about fly medicine in the very beginning. And here it come back up again. So definitely look that up. Spiritual abundance on the way, y'all. I am so proud of y'all for the, the growth, the expansion that you have going. You're letting your guard down where you need to, putting it up where it need to, where it need to go. I'm proud of y'all. Very good spirit. So happy and so grateful for this reading today. Mm -hmm. I hope that this was helpful for y'all. Again, please help me out. Like, share, and subscribe, as well as comment, y'all. Comment, comment, comment. I need your feedback. I'm still, this is a work in progress, and I greatly, greatly appreciate your feedback or any critiques, anything. Like, I'm open and receiving to that. This has been your girl, Touche B336 Tarot. Um, I think that's it, y'all. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. I hope that spirit spoke to you, because definitely spoke to and through me, and I receive it. Sending lots of love, light, and healing energy your way, always and in all ways. Y'all have a good one. I will holler at y'all, all right? <laughs>